Climate Now, in collaboration with Copernicus. Now, your unique monthly update on what's really happening to our planet. Coming up on the programme, we're reporting from Rome on the latest efforts to manage the health risks from heat waves. Even those most at risk, like the elderly people with chronic disease, uh, often they, they, they don't consider it as a serious problem. First, let's take a look at the latest data we have from the Copernicus Climate Change Service. Globally, it was the joint third warmest July on record. Europe saw its second warmest July ever recorded, with temperatures 1.4 degrees Celsius higher than the average for 1999 to 2020. Only July 2010 was hotter than this. Now, if we take a look at the map of temperature anomalies, we can see that it was a mixed picture across Europe. There were severe heat waves from the Baltic to eastern Mediterranean, with temperatures up to 42 degrees Celsius. Lithuania saw its longest ever heat wave, and Northern Ireland broke its record for the highest temperature, exceeding 31 degrees Celsius on several occasions. Now, if you were in this blue band from Portugal to Germany and parts of northwestern Russia, you might be wondering what this talk about heat waves is all about, as here it was colder than average. It was also wetter than average across much of Europe. If we take a look at the precipitation anomalies map, there were devastating floods in parts of Belgium, Germany, the Netherlands and Luxembourg. But again, a mixed picture. If you see eastern parts of the continent, as well as Spain and Portugal, here the average conditions were drier than usual. Now on to our report looking at the latest efforts to better manage the health risks from heat waves. Climate change means that dangerously high temperatures are now hitting European cities more frequently than ever before. So what can be done to protect the most vulnerable? Jeremy Wilkes reports now from Rome. It's a sweltering day here in Rome with temperatures in the high 30s. The heatwave warning level has been raised and the locals, as well as their four-legged friends, are suffering. It's no longer livable. It's not like before when we could go out in the summer and have a pleasant afternoon walk, do some shopping. Now it's impossible. It's the night mostly that's the problem. Health-wise, I have high blood pressure, so I have fatigue. And I'm a smoker, unfortunately. To protect the most vulnerable, local health authorities have adapted a telemedicine system for COVID patients and are now using it to prevent heat-related illness. Manager Donatella Biliotti ensures elderly people living on their own are regularly contacted with heat wave advice, ranging from adapting their medication to simply drinking water. The risk is dehydration. It unlocks a chain of events. But that's generally the starting point, and that's why loneliness is considered the number one risk for older people. Scientist Andrea Cecilia is working on a new health alert system for the so-called urban heat island effect. The phenomenon has been shown to increase temperatures in city centers to potentially harmful levels. On average in Rome, the urban heat island reaches an intensity of 3.4 degrees Celsius. So that means that in the city centre, on average at night, it's 3.4 degrees warmer than in the countryside. But we've also observed peaks of 6.2 degrees Celsius. So there have been very, very hot nights in the city. Across Europe, governments are taking heat-related health risks more seriously now, building warning systems based on weather and climate data. There's no simple solutions. Expert Francesca Di Donato argues heat wave alerts have to be tailored to local populations. There isn't a universal definition of a heat wave. There isn't a universal level of temperature which would be most at risk for the whole of Europe or worldwide. So maybe 32 degrees for Rome is normal temperature for summer. For the UK or for Finland, it becomes very, very hot. So conditions need to be adapted and warning systems need to be city specific in order to account for this. Now, if you want to explore the heatwave projections for your part of Europe under different climate scenarios, you can go to euronews.com slash climate now. That's all from us for now. We'll see you soon. Climate Now, in collaboration with Copernicus.